welcome back to another episode of Doodling Through Education. Now, for my CC students, we are moving right along. This is cycle one, week nine, science. For everyone else, that just means that we're going to start talking about the parts of plants. If you haven't already, head on over to doodlingthrougheducation.com. There's a link in the description. There is a new resource available um, there. They, I've created worksheets that go along with these videos. There's four worksheets per week, per subject, and you can buy them there. I've also separated them by quarter. If you wanna go ahead and just buy them quarterly, that's great too. Without further ado, let's start doodling. So today we are going to talk about plants. And specifically, we're going to talk about the parts of a plant and what those parts do. Plants are very important to this world that we live on, and they serve a lot of purposes. So it's important to understand how they work to better understand how to take care of this world that God has given us, as well as use the things that he has given us. So let's begin by talking about leaves. Leaves are where the food is made through a process called none other than photosynthesis. And you probably heard this term before. Photosynthesis is when a plant is able to absorb sunlight and turn it into food and nutrients for the plant. This is a very interesting process and there is a green colored substance called chlorophyll in these special structures called chloroplasts that is primarily responsible for this. So a plant will absorb sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide and turn it into food and oxygen. This food that is created is specifically create, created in the form of sugar or glucose. Now that we've talked about the purpose of leaves, let's talk about the structure. Leaves have this waxy coating on them that is called the cuticle, and this protects the leaves in most cases. And then there are parts on a leaf, and some of these parts are the petiole, the vein, the midrib, and the lamina. Now, leaves come in all kinds of different shapes, sizes, and colors, and some leaves even change color with the seasons. But overall, we can say that leaves are divided into two different categories when it comes to the physical structure of them. There are simple leaves and compound leaves. A simple leaf has just one leaf blade, whereas a compound leaf has more than one leaf blade. Leaves are one of the most important parts of a plant since they are primarily responsible for making the food, which we talked about earlier. Next up, let's talk about the stem of a plant. Now, stems serve many different purposes for the plant, just like leaves do, one of them being to help support the plant structure and hold it upright. They are also part of a very important transport system within the plant that carries nutrients, sugar, and water from the soil to the rest of the plant. Specifically, xylem cells in a stem are the ones that carry water, whereas the phloem cells in the stem carry food. Stems can vary across different plants. Some flowering plants have soft or bendable type stems, whereas trees have stems that are more woody and strong. Stems are so important as well because they form that structure of the plant. They are what bears the leaves, the fruits, and the flowers, and holds everything up that is seen above the soil. Now, the part where the leaves come out of the stem 
is called the nodes and the part between those specific leaves or those nodes is called the internodes. And last, let's talk about the roots. Roots are also important and are actually essential to the survival of a plant. If the plant did not have any roots, it would not survive. That is why when your dad buys your mom flowers at the store and she puts them in a vase filled with water, they eventually die because they only have a stem and maybe some leaves and a flower and no roots. Roots are found underneath the soil and one of the main purposes of them is that it helps to anchor the plants in the soil so that when it's windy or when an animal walks by, it doesn't just fall over or blow away. All roots have tiny hairs on them that absorb the water and minerals and the other important nutrients from the soil around it so that the plant can grow. Some roots can even store food for the plant. Now, completely unrelated to the plant itself, roots are important in our ecosystem because it is one of the things that holds the soil together and keeps it from being washed away when it rains a lot. Now, there are different types of roots and different plants have these different types of roots. And overall, they can be placed into two different groups. There are the plants with a tap root system and that is when there's that center root with smaller roots branching off of it. We talked about this a little bit in last week's video. And then there's a fibrous root system. And in this type of root system, the roots grow in all directions and all over the place. And there's no middle main root. So obviously plants are very important to our life. We use them for many things like food, and for building structures. We also use them for things that aren't necessary for life, like decoration, or as I mentioned earlier, your dad or your mom can bring home flowers to make your house look beautiful or to make their loved one feel special. Overall, God knew exactly what he was doing when he put plants on this earth. And that's all we have for today. Make sure you don't do those four pages this week, dive into those, learn more about how plants work and try and commit to memory those basic structures. And on that note, remember to be kind, follow God's will, and take care.